Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Memory here. We are back for some more Ranking of Kings Greatness. This being episode 9. We have a lot going on right now to say the least, especially with Bose. It's very interesting what is happening just right now as a whole, especially like with Dida. He was like in the void or something. I don't know what's going on with Dida, but we know Bose is like in control of his body right now. So it's like very interesting, like I said, what's going on with that. I mean, we didn't even have any Boji or Kage in the previous episode in the episode was still great. I think that just says a lot about this series, and it says a lot about the characters in this series as well. But I'm really curious to see where we go from here, man. I just want to hop into this episode and see what we're going to have with it. So without further ado, we're going to get into this one in three, two, one, go. Yeah, here's where we left off. But yeah, there's the whole healing, potential assassination, whatnot, too. I am Bose. But you're Dida. You look like him. But other characters I could pick up that, this, as we saw, that this is not Dida. This is someone else. And we know who it is. Oh, my God. He's like, here, let me, let me prove it to you. Let me show you. <laughs> oh, my. How much pressure is he putting into this shit? He just turned that into a, like a diamond or okay. Oh, so he's done this before. So he really was proven, especially to, to Hilling herself. Only a way that she would know. Wow. So this goes even like way back. Then what about Dida? Well, my son. The sweat. I don't know. And none of us know. Like, what is going on with him right now? Ah, healing. Healing. Makes sense. But it's like, he's in the void. We don't, we don't know what's going on with him. Okay, fuck you. Yeah, just had to show the, the uh, Miranjo, the magic mirror before. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. It's so interesting because Bos was, like, talking like he was going along with the assassination for healing. But it seems like Bos definitely has his own sort of a gender his own plans that uh, he's not maybe totally going with the magic mirror how it may seem that's why it's just like it's very fascinating to me especially what we got with the previous episode with bose's character and and what potentially he's trying to do all right episode nine the queen and the shield killing man just you gotta feel for her because we it's her son but we know how caring of a mother she is too so i i can't even imagine so there's that, and then we know she has to deal with this whole assassination bullshit, too. Man. So this is her shield, <laughs> as he puts the shields on. Oh, man. Is it just me or the drawings for the beast looking, like, extra crisp than, than normal? <laughs> like that, Because they're already usually pretty detailed, pretty nice, but... Bose. Oh, young Dorsh. Okay. So he was Bose's spear, his right hand man. I think that says a lot about how much he trusts you or how strong he thinks you are if he puts you in charge of guarding the queen. That's pretty big. You decide that she's not worth protecting i will reconsider like spend some time with her i don't think that's the case i think that's because he probably has the most trust in you to put you in charge of the queen She said, don't stand too close to me. <laughs> this is how they started. Like, now you can come closer. Now you can see. Boji. <laughs> Aw. We're going to have more healing and Boji backstory? Yes, man. Like, she's, like, blushing, too. Like, she's so excited about it.
That's why you can't get too close. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> He's like, hmm, interesting. <laughs> Here's some cake. And she's, I mean, she looks kind of menacing here, just standing over him like that. <laughs> Boji. <laughs> Aw. This is what I was saying. I will happily take more healing and Boji backstory. <laughs> Prince cake. She's still holding on to it, by the way, the whole time, climbing over the, the walls and whatnot. Little rat race. <laughs> Her and Boji. Nope. Oh. That's mine. <laughs> and he's out. He's going up here to eat it? <laughs> he's freaking drooling, man. He probably wanted it the whole time. Is that his mom? I think that's his mom, right? She, like, saw that and, like, turned around and sat there. Yo, Doris is trying to learn it too. I see you, Doris. Look how passionate she was about it though, man. Like she really was. And now she's got to try again <laughs> with the sign language. <laughs> the, the little eyebrow raise. <laughs> Whoa, chill, chill. But this just shows you, she, like, she notices, she's like, oh, shit, I went a little too far. <laughs> but it shows you how passionate, how much she cared. And Dorsh is seeing that, too. Like, Dorsh is like, this is probably not what I was expecting. No, oh, he already, he was spot on with that, because that's what Dorsh was thinking. That's ironic, because... Appius is the is the spear in the present time, isn't he? I think he's gonna say yeah. It both hmm hmm double hmm. Progress. Something that over time, they just got closer and closer. Oh, he, he ran right to Hilling and held on to her. Ah, It's going to be a process with you two, Dorsh. <laughs> <laughs> the character acting right here, bro. Oh, my God. I love it. Doors is like, shit, when did they get so close? He's like, wait, I got to protect her. I got to be there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is why I love these Hillig and Boji scenes. That was one of my favorite episodes of this whole series, and we get more of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how he was running was kind of goofy. Oh, he was just thinking about that right here. As he's about to go in on these beasts, because he knows he got to protect her. Yo, okay, he about to go in. He about to go in. Oh, okay, okay. All three of them at once? Damn. Dude. Okay, yeah, they're going in. They're going in. I was saying, like, these, these designs look super detailed. Like, it just looks like one of those episodes. Oh, yeah, these perspectives, bro. Oh. Ooh. Come on, Dorsh. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's pretty, that's... Of course he had that under there. I mean, why not? He, he... Yeah, dude, the way they're doing this with the camera... Ooh, off the wall? Okay, Doris. Damn. Oh, now he just has his fists. Okay, okay. He, he turning it up a notch. All right, bro. Okay. 
Oh, okay. He said, fuck all the armor. Dude, yeah, they are going in with just, I mean, just the most subtle, like, movements with the character animation, man. Even with the healing, like, that was a wholesome thing. He's kind of about to kick ass here, hopefully. Doors are about to wipe the floor with him. <laughs> That's how they came under their control, of course. Those monsters can't compete with Deutsch's brute force. Which is what he just did. But I think he's still gonna... I hope he still kicks their asses. Oh! <laughs> Deutsch! Okay! Oh, <laughs> man. Um, there was still one more. Oh, they just both latched back onto him like that. That one that he uppercut must have just regrouped so quickly. Oh, no. Oh, this is what he was whispering to him. Killing of myself, which side will you choose? I think he's he's testing you or something. Protect healing. Oh my god. <laughs> this man will just not give up. I love it. I respect the hell out of it. Now he has this one in the chokehold. Ooh. Granted by the hordes? Oh my god. They are going in with Dorish, bro. Oh, was that a skeleton? That was like the skeleton of the beast. What, what the hell? Dude, all that blood loss. This man still don't want to. It's like, I know I'm probably about to pass out, but I can't. Oh, no. But he defeated all of them. Oh no, poor you. Poor you, Magic Mirror. Fuck off. Why don't we enjoy this moment? Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> what is this? Is this her? How did they make this happen? Oh. That didn't last too long. Is it just take that much magic to do something like that? Or does she just not have that much magic or something? What is it that drives you so? What is it? Is it nothing or what? Yeah, I mean, this is also twisted because it seems like Bose cares about his family. But then there's like this with Miranjo. It's I, I don't know. Like he put Dorsch in charge of the queen to protect her because he trusted him the most. It's, but that was like far back. I'm just so that, that whole thing with him and, and Miranjo is so odd to me. Uh, okay, he's good. I figured he would, to be honest. But... You did your job, man.
Healing. Healing. Okay. She said, I'll be willing to fight both. Okay, we back here. Wherever he's at. Dude, these freaking perspectives, bro. Like a lot of these angles, these shots. Oh my. Bro. Oh yeah, this has to be scary as hell. This wherever he's at, this spot that he's position he's in. So no matter how far he goes, there's nothing there and just Part of me still thinks though that Bo still has his own like agenda, his own plans, and he's not totally with the magic mirror going with her, you know? For for certain reasons that I've kind of talked about, I guess. Hilling is on one right now, and I love it. She is she is determined. And then they were just trying to assassinate her, right? <laughs> Trivial matter. Ah, see, like these past glimpses, we know this man like cares about his family. So, like, what is power above one and uh, just above all of that? Is it something else, even more? Healing. Oh my gosh. As a father. Oh. He's hearing this? Dad is hearing this? Ah. Uh, is she hearing him too? Wait. Ah, uh, dude. But if she's not there, you can't get to her. It's like, ah, uh, Dida. Dida, man. Oh. Dude, the the animation, like the character acting, the I mean, that stuff with Doris, it's just been on another level with this episode. I mean, even like the despair scene with Dida, this whole... I'm sure Dida probably has came to a whole new understanding with what's going on with him now, especially maybe looking at Boji's perspective and how it was for him. That's what I think about, too. In there somewhere. <laughs> Dude, that smile. That smile, though. Just as long as I know you're in there somewhere, like, there's a possibility we could save you. They're not just gone or dead or whatever the case. <laughs> what do you want Dorse to do? What is he supposed to do? <laughs> is he the only one who can hear him? I mean, he's not lying. Healing, chill! Healing! It's it, uh, it's still his body though, yeah. Cause what would happen if she killed the? Well, I don't even know how that would work. Killed the body or? It, oh, chill out. Cause like yeah, if she stabbed the body, would Dida still even be there? Would it still be possible to bring him back? If he didn't have a body to come back to, it's just, it's weird, dude.
That strongest man in the world, he he coming. Yeah, it was like so close, and now, like maybe this was a lead of potential for me somehow to. I I still don't think he was gonna get out of here, but. Jeez. Boji, it's gonna be Boji. It has to be Boji. <sighs> Dino, man. I'm loving this with Dida. That's what I was saying earlier. I was like, he's probably had so much time to reflect in here. Could this be what it's like in Brother's World? And seeing that, man, that's some great growth and development is coming with Dida out of this, man, for sure. Oh, my God. And that's what this has opened up. Although, it obviously, he sucks. He's in, like, this void. or Like, he can't get out of here right now. And he's been going through it. Of course, especially after now hearing his mom and just like, oh, there's maybe some hope there. And then it just kind of gets stripped away from him. Like, he's had time to, to reflect in here, as we're seeing. So that's why I love this. It, it Obviously, it sucks, but I love it, too, because it opens up for these possibilities for development for Dida and, and just the, the, the motivation, right? And I mean, dude. The direction in this episode, the the, the character acting, the, the just the animation. I mean, they really went in with this with Dorsch and him fighting those beasts. That was probably some of the stronger. Uh, I would say probably say the strongest action sequences we've saw in this series. But like the character acting was was on point. And I, I mean, I just really love what we have with this episode. It's just, oh man, it's just so. It's so hard to get a grasp on what is going on with with Bose, it, like the position that he's in, because we saw in the past these glimpses of where he's a good father, or he wants to be a good father, and he cares about his family. And now there's, you know, the situation that he's in right here, where he's helping Miranjo or talking about helping her achieve her goals and and whatnot. So it's. I don't know, man. It's just, it's so interesting. It's fascinating to me, the position that, that Bose is in and potentially what his plans are, what he's going to do going forward into the future. Like, what, is, what, are, what are his intentions? But I, I, I don't know. We, we'll just have to keep watching and see, obviously, where that goes. But uh, it's going to be Boji, the, the one. We, they've kind of already foreshadowed that, that Boji's going to be the one that, that comes in to save died at, at a certain point which we didn't really see boji and kage in this episode again i mean we did get that flashback stuff which i love that hilling in in boji at any time they're gonna show anything with with some backstory with them or, or just them in the past it's just uh that one episode that they had focus on that was just so wholesome so beautiful i, I love that so when we had more of that here and i really like uh i'm warming up to, to doors because I mean, I didn't really, we didn't really have much with him before really this episode, when you think about it. So, uh, episode really focused with, with a lot of him. I love that we had with him and just kind of where he was at initially and what his whole thought process was and what he was thinking about the position that he was being put in. I've lost the trust in the king, but that's not really the case. It's because he had the most trust in you and probably thinks that you're the strongest, even stronger than Appius or, you know, the others like Bebin and all of them, the, what are they, the great four or whatever? He probably thinks he's the strongest of all of them to put you in charge of the queen like that, but that was in the past. So, and I thought maybe he was testing Doris, to, like allowing the beast to be sent after him. And even he asked him that question or when he whispered to him, who are you going to choose me or, or healing? And he chose healing. So maybe he was testing him. I, it's, I don't know. Bose is just such an interesting character to me and what is going on with him and what he's doing. I just, I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm just not getting it, but it's hard to get a hard to get a, a tab on both, especially with a lot of these characters even uh, as well. So, yeah, I really love what we have with this episode, though. This was phenomenal, man. And I think now that I, uh, I remember seeing, I think Arafumi Amai was the, the episode director for this year. So that would make sense. The action sequence was probably one of the 
I would say the best we've had in the series so far, but also why it was really, I feel like they, they definitely turned it up a notch here with, with a lot of things uh, that I mentioned before. So yeah, we'll see what happens going forward. Um, let me know what you guys thought of this episode of Ranking of Kings. Once again, a pretty crazy one. If you guys did enjoy my reaction, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace out.